industry in this country. And one of the fastest growing segments is what is known as boutique fitness. ABC 7 sports director Larry Beal joins us now for a look at some of the really creative ways exercise experts are keeping us coming back for yeah, more. I'm here to palm you <laughs> off. Yes. Right on. In the gym world, boutique means smaller studios, smaller classes, lots of individual instruction. Now there's also a growing emphasis on making sure you don't get bored while you do get in shape. You can try yoga on the water, surfing on the sand, or defying gravity. As you work muscles you didn't even know you had. These are just a few of the huge range of fitness classes now available all around the Bay Area. This class is at Pole Tensional in Redwood City. The studio began featuring pole dancing, which still draws a steady stream of customers, but now a growing number are here to exercise in the air, upside down. This is scary for me. It's really different, it's really fun. At first it started with just people who maybe had circus backgrounds, and now it's people coming and out of their cubicles and into the studio. Annie Lou is a computer programmer. And you get to be like pretty and sexy while doing exercise, and then you actually use a lot of like upper body strength. Beginners start on a continuous loop of fabric called a hammock. The more advanced students use aerial silks, and they learn to wrap themselves up so they don't fall. Everybody's body is different, so it's a nice way for them to explore themselves. The demand for new ways to get people moving is so strong, 12,000 fitness professionals showed up at this convention in Anaheim, all looking for new ideas and the very latest equipment. One new apparatus that's a hit in the Bay Area is SurfSet, created to simulate surfing on dry land. Classes are offered inside and out, and this one is at Chrissy Field. The moment that you 